Hello! I'll assume most of you are here because you've noticed that the new TF2 64-bit update has broken Lawena and Half-Life After Effects. Alright, so if you've done any troubleshooting at all, like downloading a 64-bit fix for Lawena off of, say, TeenFortress.tv, for example, anything like that, or if you've changed any file paths in Half-Life After Effects, anything like that either, what you're going to want to do first is go get your old install of Lawena, this uh, 4.1.18 version, because the new one is totally useless for what we're trying to do right now. If you don't have your old release of Loena, you can just go get the newest official release off of GitHub. It doesn't really matter. All that matters is that you use the version 4.1.18 from here on out. So secondly, you need to open your file path to the Team Fortress 2 folder in your Steam Apps common directory, which is right here for me. So you see this file right here named tf.exe. What you need to do is copy and paste that right here in the same exact folder. And then you need to rename the copy to hl2.exe. The reason for this is this version of Lawena is going to try to launch the file hl2.exe instead of this new tf.exe file, which is what came in the update and half of what broke it in the first place. All right, then after that, you need to open Half-Life After Effects which is most likely going to be in Program Files x86 if you can't find it. And you're going to want to go, once this loads, okay, you're going to want to go to Tools, Developer, and Custom Loader right here. And from here, you're going to want to look for this text box labeled Program Path. So notice how the file destination for HL2 doesn't match where it is whenever we just made it just a second ago. That's the other half that's been broken by this update. Half-Life After Effects is looking for the executable in tf2 slash tf slash bin, which is where they moved it from with the update. So all you have to do is navigate to your new hl2.exe file that you made a second ago and select it instead of the old file that was picked earlier. After that, you're free to hit OK and it'll try to launch tf2, which is normal. And now just go back to Loena and launch TF2 with it. Now hopefully everything should be working just fine. As you can see, Half-Life After Effects is present and launching it with Loena worked, so that should be everything. You can contact me through Discord or through the uh, Half-Life After Effects Discord in the description. And if you have any issues, just let me know or let the uh, Half-Life After Effects Discord know. Have a good one. That's all.